PBs run. Hello, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Hoka or Hoka One One Carbon X SPE. I've been excited to get these shoes for quite a long time. I run uh, almost exclusively really in hockers um, and I've been running in them for a few years now. So uh, the selection I've got at the moment go as follows. Speed goats. I run in these for my uh, for my, my, my trail running and um, that's why they're really really muddy and well used. I've uh, done some fantastic runs in these including recently uh, a good 50 mile trail run, six and a half thousand feet of ascent, so a proper, proper run in those. Um, then for the lighter trails, day-to-day -day stuff, these are kind of my, my daily runners really. Um, these are the um, the Hocker Challenger ATRs. They're kind of like a hybrid road and trail shoe. I wear these for pretty much everything. Um, I find it's just general running, these are, these are the ones to wear. Um, and then my old road shoes, these are on their last legs now, which is why they're being replaced. These are the, uh, the Arahis, I can't remember what these are, these are the Arahi 3s, I think they're onto the Arahi 5s now, but uh, being honest, I don't do a lot of road running, so these, uh, th these have lasted me a while, but they really, uh, really, I've pretty much had it now. So I've gone for the uh, Hocker Carbon X SPE, they're, they've got these fancy carbon plates in them, they're supposed to be fantastic, they're more of a race shoe so I understand they're not quite as durable as perhaps uh, other running uh, or road shoes, um, so I'm only expecting to get realistically about two, 250 miles out of them, so I'm going to keep them just for, uh, just, just for f fast running, um, mainly races and things. Um, so I'm going to open the box, have a good look at them because I haven't actually seen them myself yet, uh, and, then, and then get on with going for a, a run in them. So first impressions, they look fantastic and they feel really, really light. In fact, I just realised they've still got that cardboard bit inside, which I'm going to take out now. And wow, they feel even, even lighter. Um, noticeable kind of thing at first, really, really thin fabric here uh, on the uppers here. Really, really thin compared to other shoes, which must be where they're uh, trying to save the weight. Another very, very cool feature. Um, you've got quite a smooth sole here, something I'm not used to being mostly a, a trail runner. Um, but they've got this little window in here. You can actually see the carbon plate. I'm pretty sure after a run or two, you're not going to see them again uh, with all the dirt and everything that's in inevitably going to accumulate in there. Um, however, nice little touch that is. Um, the sole's really, really smooth. I'm hoping that provides enough grip um, on the kind of uh, you know, footpaths um, that I run on, sometimes a few leaves and things on there. Um, again, something I, I don't do a lot of road running uh, and on footpaths and things, but we'll see how we get on with them. I'm quite excited to give them a go. They're certainly light though, certainly light. They're looking good. I like the colours. They've got the same kind of design that you expect from Hocker, that nice, big, cushy, comfortable sole um, that we all know and love out of Hocker. I, I know they're a bit uh, sort of love more hate them. They're a little bit marmite, these things. Now, a few little facts about these shoes, a few things that you need to know. They're a neutral shoe. Now, I overpronate, so I am slightly concerned about that. Um, with the pronation that I uh, that I have, um, whether I'm going to be alright in a neutral shoe or not, I do not know. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, Weight-wise, 250 grams. So they are quite a light shoe, and they certainly feel it. They feel really, really light. So uh, that's good. And the heel-to-toe drop, heel-to-toe drop, five mil. Um, so for those of you that are, that are concerned with that kind of thing, uh, enjoy yourselves. Um, again, I don't get too much involved in the stats um, and the numbers and things. I tend to stick them on my feet and run and see how I feel with them. Um, Hocker or Hoka um, describe these as a responsive kind of feel rather than the balanced or plush. Um, you know, other descriptions they tend to use with their other shoes. And I think that's to do with the fact they're a race shoe. So they're not going to be quite as cushioned and quite as plush as the other shoes. But compared to a lot of the other carbon sole shoes, I think these are going to be pretty comfy looking at them and feeling the inside. They feel pretty good. Compared to other shoes, one thing is noticeable on, on them. If you look at, say, the Arahis here, you've got a very separate tongue to the rest of the upper here on the shoe. Whereas on the new Carbon X that I've got here, you can probably see that it's all kind of moulded as one, which is quite cool. Um, and I guess that's again a, a, a weight saving comfort thing. Um, so I'll be interested to see how that feels when running. Um, but everything about them feels lightweight, they feel fast and look like they're ready to do their thing. So um, the only thing there is left to do is go for running them. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to slip them on now and see that they fit. And then I, I'm going 
well, in, in the style that I always tend to do, it's, a, it's all or nothing with me. So the first time I'm going to wear these for a run is tomorrow morning. I'm going out and I'm running a marathon. Um, a local marathon, Holly Challenge it's called. I'm going to run out, I'm going to put 26.2 miles on these things and see how I get on. So, uh, I'm normally around the um, four hour mark for marathon quite comfortably. Um, on a good day I'm sort of 3.45, PB's around about 3.41, although I've unofficially gone a few minutes quicker than that um, a couple of times, but um, I'm expecting great things from these. Hopefully I'll be banging out a two and a half hour marathon tomorrow, breaking world records or something. Um, based on, uh, on, on what people say, you can get out of these carbon sole shoes uh, or carbon plate shoes, whatever they're supposed to be. Anyway, there's only one way to find out, so tomorrow I'm going to go out, run a marathon and hopefully get a great time. Okay, that was a bit of a funny start. I was dying for a wee. I, uh, I was just coming out of the toilets when, uh, when the race started. So, I was a few seconds late, but yeah, it's cold this morning and I'm gonna have to have a warm me up, I think. But I know that it's gonna warm up a little later, which is why I'm only wearing a t-shirt. Oh, it's three laps. Just uh, around nine miles per lap. I think this takes us just over marathon distance on this race. But I'm having trouble settling into it this morning. I can't even get me breathing right. So I'll update you in a bit. Okay, it's Saturday morning. I have my vaccine on Wednesday. Being honest, I had a rough couple of days straight afterwards, Thursday and Friday. Didn't feel good at all. This morning, although I got up feeling okay, I've started running this marathon. I'm having trouble getting my breath. Just not feeling 100 percent i'm not doing a bad pace but i don't know how long i'll be able to hold on to it for so all in all i'm really pleased to have the vaccine um but i seem to have suffered a few more side effects than some but it's the right thing to have it done here i am on the marathon this morning running in the new hocker carbon x spe um first impressions they're fantastic they're light they're comfortable um other sort of feedback is things like the the lack of cushioning compared to the normal shoes that I run in. Oh, got a new friend. <laughs> They're still really comfy, but it hasn't got that lovely soft cushioning that I'm used to, which I'm finding hard to get uh, comfortable with. They feel light, they feel fast, um, but just very, very different to what I'm used to. Also, it's probably fair to say, I'm not used to running quickly anymore. So I'm averaging about 7.45 minute miles at the moment, which compared to the speeds I used to run, is fairly sedate. Um, but I've been doing a lot of long, slow trail runs, ultras, trail marathons, that kind of thing. And even my training runs have been sort of 17 miles or so on trails with a few thousand feet of ascent. So. This is very different running fast today, in new shoes. A couple of days after my COVID vaccine, straight into a marathon. Probably a recipe for disaster, but uh, oh, I can't even get my breath properly today. I'm struggling. However, I will see how I get on and update you as I go. This is the first of three times over the Iron Bridge this morning. I'll be honest, I'm not doing much filming. I'm having trouble keeping my um, breathing. Right, can't catch my breath this morning. Don't know what's going on. Usually at this kind of pace, I can really easily talk while filming and running. This morning, I'm really struggling Here's to get my breath. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's another ongoing effect of that COVID vaccine. I have no idea, but I'm struggling. Now, feedback on the shoes. I'll be honest, they're fast. They're really good. Um, I'm sure they provide some marginal gains with regards to speed. I don't recognize them. I don't think I'm quick enough to really release the potential of them. Um, I just prefer a little bit more cushioning, but that's just a personal thought, really. Okay. Cool. See the River Seven down there, beautiful place this time of year. 
Lovely pub there called the Half Moon Inn as well, good for a bit of lunch. Outside dining at the moment, I believe. Well, it started off freezing cold this morning. There was ice on the car. I was freezing for the first few miles. Worked up a bit of a sweat. And now the, the ice is gone. The sun's come out and it's really warm. Really, really warm today. Um, lovely. Great day for a marathon. Um, beautiful views as well. It's a lovely route for that. Obviously going through Ironbridge three times is always going to be lovely. However, running past the ice cream shop, the cafes, the pubs that are now serving nice cold beer, it's all too tempting to stop up for a little feast. But however, I'm going to push on today, get to the finish and enjoy some treats after this. Hopefully, if I can finish in a decent time, I might double up on the treats as well. If I can get through this mile in a decent pace, I might even scrape a personal best. So let's see what happens in the next few minutes. Sign there, which indicates I'm coming into the car park and up to the finish. Very exciting. Here we go. Excuse me, sorry, thank you. Thank you very much. And here we are at the finish. I think I'm going to be sick, but... Oh, yeah. Not glamorous, but getting the job done. Here we go. It's a PB as well. No. Oh, oh God. So, Matt, how does it feel to get a PB? Feels good to get a PB, even better to see your face, Denzel. Oh, you say the nicest thing. I'd much rather see Vicky's though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much rather see hers than yours. <laughs> okay, so a quick review of the shoes and, and the day that I've had. I've had a fantastic day here running at the, um, at the Holly Challenge. You've got a beautiful medal for it as well. There you go, the Holly Challenge medal. Um, got a new personal best as well. 3.38 I think it was um, to be confirmed. But yeah, fantastic time, fantastic day for it, great event. Um, but was it down to the shoes? Was it down to these things? Um, the answer is I don't think so. They're brilliant and they feel quicker. They're definitely light um, and they're brilliant at what they do as a race shoe. Now it's my first experience wearing these proper kind of like fast race shoes. Um, I personally feel that the marginal gains that you're going to get from these are not worth the extra money. These are, are listed at £170. Now I didn't pay that, I was lucky to get them an offer, so I paid significantly less. Um, if I'd paid 170, I wouldn't have been too impressed because I don't feel that the marginal gains that you're gonna get from these carbon plates and things are worth the money. Um, the reason I went quicker, bottom line, I'm a little bit fitter than I was last time I ran a, a marathon like that. Um, and I just basically had a pretty good day. Um, did the shoes make a difference? Possibly. Um, I don't think it was a massive difference, um, but they are great. They are fantastic. Would I recommend them? Definitely, they're brilliant. They're definitely brilliant if you've got a little bit of spare cash and you can justify the extra money over and above the normal running shoes that you might opt for, then yeah, go for it. Maybe you'll realize the benefits. Um, I just feel as a fairly average kind of runner, I'm generally speaking middle of the pack kind of guy, um, I just feel it's not really worth the extra. Um, however, I'm still very loyal to the Hocker brand, although I'm open to new ideas and trying other, other shoes and things. Um, and they're brilliant, they're fantastic. I'll continue wearing them. Maybe I'll grow to love them as much as I do some of my other shoes. But um, all in all, fantastic. Great day out. Um, yeah, not much else to tell you really. So, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, look out for the next silly video. Just another little thought actually, I thought I'd consider um, the durability of these things. So I've heard that these uh, carbon plate shoes and these race shoes don't wear so well. So let's see how they are after 26 miles of, uh, of me running on them. Yeah, I was expecting to see a lot more ripping and tearing and damage on the soles, considering what I've been told from other people about these type of shoes. 
um, actually they're not too bad at all. Now bear in mind when you look at the sort of wear rate of shoes you should always consider uh, not just the shoe but who's running in them. So me for example, um, I'm not the tallest guy in the world but I, I do weigh about 12 stone so there's a lot of me banging through them for someone of my height so um, equally I'm going to get more, I'm going to get a faster wear rate on these than someone that is my height and only weighs say nine stone. Um, so to be fair I can't really complain they look pretty good in that respect and they felt so comfortable all the way around um, I just prefer a little bit of cushioning it's just a personal kind of thought it's a personal thing it's just the way that I feel about it but um, yeah no reflection on the shoes they are awesome